nice shirt, Josh. I feel kind of cool. You look I, cool. I, I, if you say I look cool, Big Fern, then I know I'm cool. Where are we? Give you some hints. Bullseye, the dog lives here. Also, one of my favorite 90s baseball players used to dive into this like outfield fence that looked kind of like a extended hockey wall. Chased by Puckett. He caught it. If you didn't get either one of those, we're in Minneapolis and not for very long. We're gonna go pick up a rental car, probably a Bentley or Lambo or Ferrari, I don't know, whatever uh, my old friends at Enterprise have for me. We're gonna hit the road on a two and a half hour road trip. We're okay. But that's all I'm gonna tell you about now. So when we were driving in, it sounded like literally raindrops. I thought to myself, like, we are definitely hitting rain. And then Grant holds his hand out thinking, it's gotta be rain. Nope, it was bugs, <laughs> you know, bugs. Doing a bad job at this like road trip, like feeding you guys like where we're going, details or clues or whatever. What's a good clue of where we stayed last night? Cute little city. I mean, that doesn't help at all. Uh, it was a great little little town. There was water. There was water. It was on the Mississippi River, uh, or I don't know how the people of Mississippi. Is that what they say in the South? We're not in the South, but uh, I'm getting people confused right now. I also thought I don't, uh, you know, was a was a sport invented there? I don't know, because I thought it wasn't invented there. I thought Canada invented it, but they had this big bronze statue. It looked like. Native Americans were playing a sport and the town is named after the sport so like maybe it was I don't know um, more clues let's see I usually like to do this stuff with uh, with my wife when we're like in a random town or anything we always like to look up like on Wikipedia like all the interesting things that are going on in the town so I looked it up and one, the biggest private company in the United States was originally founded in that city. They're not there anymore. There may be in Minneapolis. I don't, I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe that's a hint. Um, let's see. Oh, LaCroix was invented there by a brewery. Again, the, the, the company's not based there anymore, but uh, that's interesting. So they could rename the town with a few letters from what it is to LaCroix, and it wouldn't be that big of a difference. Maybe. <laughs> um, what else do I got? Oh, headquarters is um, a really cool convenience store. Quick trip. Anybody got it? Steak buffet. Oh, there's a steak buffet. <laughs> we didn't go there, though. You guys saw we went to... Uh, uh, Wisconsin's in and out of Culver's. All right, I'm gonna have to at least let you know, because this isn't actually, we're actually going somewhere else. I have to see you in the car uh, driving. Um, we were in La Crosse. Did anybody guess that? Probably not. We're actually gonna go head to another smaller town in Wisconsin now. But I'm gonna leave you on another cliffhanger, which people that are watching this on YouTube are like, bro, in the thumbnail, you told us exactly where you were. <laughs> the title of the video, we know where you're at. You're not <laughs> keeping anybody on suspense. We already know where you're at. So, I don't know, whatever. I'm trying here, guys, <laughs> whatever. Do I look like Dom Toretto in my uh, Ferrari? Oh, yeah. Right, Do I, I gotta get my like, forearm flex or something? Yeah, I think that's you the way to shift it too. Yeah. There you go. Family! 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 Surprise! We're in Sparta. Is that the, uh, Grant will do the clip. This is Sparta! <laughs> <laughs> We're at Century Foods, which is, for people that maybe don't know, a division of Hormel Foods. 
multi-billion dollar conglomerate, but they have a nutritional division that I've worked with for long time. This trip was part like development kind of projects we're working on. I got a few clients that are working on both like RTD stuff and some powder stuff. Secondly, something that I don't talk about maybe at all on this channel or maybe people have no idea that I do this, but I do a lot of like strategy sessions with if it's on the supply side, it could be brands or whatever. Come in with a bunch of insights, a lot of like what maybe you guys see through videos and things like that, but it's really a matter of giving them everything that's in my head, letting them kind of pick my brain, bunch of q and A. I I do a big presentation and just kind of let them know where I'm at in terms of trends and insights and kind of where I'm seeing things evolve over the next couple of years so the company can kind of get repositioned and make sure that they are you know, ultimately doing the best for their customers in this particular sense, because this is on the supply side. They asked me to kind of come out here. They want to be, you know, the smartest guys in the room. Obviously, being a part of a very big company, they want to make sure that they are the guys, you know. So I'm going to hopefully give them a lot of my energy, a lot of my insights, and um, we'll take you along for the ride. and I'm so crazy right now. No, but it was good. Grant also told me it was good, or Big Fern, as he's known around these parts. I think that there was a ton of exchange of value between both sides. I think everybody really enjoyed it. There was about I think, 30 or 40 people in the room. Uh, they had every department, which I thought was great. Uh, you know, normally it's like the sales and maybe some ops people, but like there was finance, there was HR, there was everybody. So, you know, I think they got a sense of what I'm about. Uh, you know, my ideologies, uh, some of the stuff maybe wasn't, you know, actionable tomorrow, but hopefully was impactful to what they're doing, especially as they shift culturally into a lot of like, you know, different things. They want to they be adding value to their customers. They want to be the smartest people in the room. They want to make sure that they are differentiating themselves from all the other kind of, you know, contract manufacturers and, and suppliers out there. So I thought it was great overall ending of a video we've ever done. It is. This could be the thumbnail right here. I mean, could what, be. What do you do? What do you, what do, you do? I don't know what to do. Like, <laughs> what, what do I do with my hands? What do I do with my hands? You know, I was thinking about the uh, the outro in like our famous one we always do, and like we should have really caught Mike Jones doing it. Who? Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones. One of the things I've always remembered, I still remember this to say, 281-330-8004. Hit Mike Jones up on the low, because Mike Jones about to blow. <laughs> that was his phone number, like legit phone number. His mom or grandma or something said, put your phone number in your wraps, because if people want to book you, they know how to contact you. If you want to contact Mike Jones from Century Foods, do not call that number. He's not going to pick up his number something else. Let me get it out for you guys. No, he'll be upset if I do that for you. But um, I guess since he's not here, we're going to tell you to smash the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe, the bell. I don't know what else you could do, but just support me. And I appreciate you guys in kind of coming along with us, enjoying this road trip. Next one, you're going to have to sit and wait. I'm going to put you on suspense again. We have a couple things cooking, and the planes are telling us we're done. Bye. Cut. 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 So we're done. <laughs>